Okay guys, welcome back again. Second review in two days. Both of these kits came together. Um, at this point, I doubt if you'll ever watch it. But I uh, ordered them from Black Mike Models, an online store, Black Models, blackmikemodels.co.uk, I believe. I ordered these Friday morning. I sent the order off. It went through at 5 to 8 in the morning, I think by 9.15, something like that. I had an email to say they'd been posted. He lives up in what looks like the wilds of Scotland, and he gets his mail collected at 10 o'clock every day. And uh, it was here for Monday. So I just... These are two that I've uh, in, uh, wanted, uh, well not wanted, decided to get. The other one was the uh, Spitfire Review, which went up yesterday, the Edward one. This one, as you can see, is a little Cessna Road 2 uh, A Skymaster. Skymaster, uh, made by OCM Models, 148 scale again. Um, made famous in the film Back to One, except Back to One used the civilian version, which didn't have... Uh, the civilian one had spinners, which this one doesn't, and the civilian one didn't have the extra um, viewports. I'm not sure about the ones in the roof, but I know it didn't have those. Uh, so if you want to build the one from the movie, you can't. But I've always liked these little planes ever since I think Airfix did one. I just looked at it and didn't even really believe it was a real plane, couldn't work out how it even worked. But uh, I actually sat there, it's on YouTube, and I watched the film yesterday, and it's still a good film. Danny Glover, Gene Hackman, two good actors in it. And it's a true story. If you haven't seen it, see if you can find it and watch it. It's well worth a watch. Good action all the way through. But obviously, based in the Vietnam War, uh, quick price is uh, uh, Gene Hackman, he's quite a high ranking colonel, knows a lot of secrets, gets shot down uh, from a reconnaissance plane, and back to one's a spotter in one of the. Um, yeah, back to one is a spotter who's played by Danny Glover in one of these, and uh, yeah, I won't spoil it anymore. But if you can find it, watch it if you haven't seen it. It's a good film, quite an old one, but very good. Anyway, as you can see, ICM kit, usual kind of thing, just show you around. There's a few versions in the kit, there's not a lot of difference. Um, kit numbers, what's that looking at? 4829, no, I'm reading it upside down. So, uh, you just got the usual bit of bump on there, and the same on the other side. ICM, I don't know if you know, has a strange box arrangement. It's a good, sturdy box. The lid comes off, and then it's another kind of box inside, and it's a, uh, I don't know why you just pull it arms out. What I like about ICM is no wrapper room, but it fits so well that. Um, the parts can't move around. I think that's great. I think that's a really good good way of doing it. Anyway, put the plasticky bits aside and we'll have a quick look through the menu. Uh, menu? The, <laughs> the instructions. It's going to be a bit of lens flare as I slowly bring the light back in. Uh, I'll try and leave it there so it's not too much. So you've got your colour call outs. Unfortunately, it only gives them in Revel and Tamiya. Not that I've got any. I think it's Tamiya paints, but uh, if you want the right sort of colours, you have to look them up. Put sort of gold grey or whatever it was. Anyway, a sprue call out. One thing they do, I did notice, is that they do actually give you the spinner. So whether they're contemplating doing a civilian scheme one in the future, I don't know. Um, but that would mean retooling all of this one because you'd have to have the different side panels unless. They're going to give you another little sprue with bits to fill those in, in which case you'd have to do a bit of filling work as well. But uh, I really don't know. Uh, starts off with assembling what I believe is a radio rack or electronic equipment that went in the back, um, gluing the glass in. Same there, bit of engine detail, that's for the front, nose gear. Building that up as a bulkhead, <coughs> installing that and this electronics rack. Uh, pilot's yoke, not sure what that is at the moment. That's a seat, obviously. Um, oh, I see, that's the up, seat upside down. That's that. Turn it over, put the back on. Instrument panel, which is just a decal, cockpit floor, install the seats. Uh, put that unit into the right hand body, left hand, put the glazing in. Oh, a couple of machine guns, or, or rifles I should say, probably not, hadn't noticed that. Join the two halves together, 10 grams of weight, because obviously it's going to be a tail setter, but that's twin booms. I wonder if 10's enough. Um, 
putting the cowling on, combing, one of the props, that's a pusher prop going on, and the tractor prop at the front, canopy. Uh, glass panels in the top of the roof, all the upper wings in one part, gluing that on. Uh, air scoop going on, some sort of grab rail, I guess. Little air aerials, presumably more aerials, don't know. At some point you've also missed that. Go back a second. Oh, this bit makes up the main gear. I was hoping I could do maybe an in flight diorama. I'll have a think about that. Uh, Part of the tail boom, or the horizontal stabiliser goes between the two, make up tail booms, rudders going on, glue those together, glue those onto the main wings and then put the lower halves of the wings on, opening some holes up for the rocket pods. Um, that's obviously a nose wheel door, not sure how the main gear retracted on these, uh, ailerons being installed, braces, wing braces on both sides, making up the uh, wheels, even got the uh, disc pad holder for the disc brakes on the main gear. Uh, don't know what they are underneath, just some strakes. Uh, pylons for the round you know, the rocket pods. Uh, sway braces, make up the rocket pods, two under each wing. I think in the film it only showed one under each wing. Uh, oh, there's assembly variant two, so different sorts of weapons. Just don't ask me what that is because they don't tell me. <coughs> Excuse me again. And finishing up, I don't give you a template. Here comes a dog, in case you're wondering what that noise is in the background. But they do give you a mask template so you can plot these off, put a bit of masking tape over, carefully cut them out. I'll probably photocopy this and cut them out from there. Then you've got your markings. Um, I think there's three, four markings, four. So basically grey all over, some red, f red flashes, I think they're red, being colour blind, I have to guess. I think it's colour N, looking at my... So going back to the front, colour N, well it says clear red, so it's obviously for a light. E, black green. <laughs> so it shows what I know. Being colour blind, you're going, oh, stupid mark. <laughs> Can't help it, sorry guys. There's another one here. They don't give you any unit markings or anything where they have a base. They just give you these uh, four options. And the last one, all black. Don't like the all black one. Hard to get it looking non toy like, toy like, shall we say. But uh, for those who are skilled enough, I should think that would be quite an interesting one. I can't even see, oh, it hasn't even got any stars or bars on it that I can see. So perhaps a little bit dull that one. I haven't decided which one I'm doing yet. So, yeah, there's two greys on it. A, which is, oh, actually one of them is white. I've never thought it was white, it looked white in the film. So uh, that's going to be a nightmare as well, another nightmare colour. Anyway, that's the instructions looked at. Let's do the plastic last. There's just the decals in the box. So hopefully you can see those okay. A few seconds to have a quick look at those. The usual card always never sticks on, comes off, that sits in there. Uh, two main screws by the looks of it, uh, all in one bag, but the clear parts are in a separate bag in the main bag. Rather a rustly bag, so I'll get that out quick. I won't get the clear parts out, but you can see them in the, in the bag. They don't look too bad. Might be a bit of distortion going around the corners, but what do you expect? Okay, onto the sprues. Just start with a few of the large, shall we? 
nicely, nicely moulded. Let's bring the light round more now. Nicely moulded, few swirl marks, nothing to worry about. Instrument panel looks great considering there's a uh, no decal on there. So that's cabin floor, and you've got the weapon systems here. You've got the sway braces, two rifles. It looks like a fuel canvas, probably a battery. Um, seats of uh, pylons for the weapons. Set of sway braces, didn't lie up there. Uh, a few couple of little bits that I really don't know what they are. Very nicely moulded, no flash. Some circles there, but they're not ejector pin marks because they're moulded in. It's quite nice. Turn it over, you can see the ejector pin marks on this side. A couple inside the body, but whether you'll see those or not, I don't know. Nicely moulded. Really good. My first, my first look at this myself. I looked in the box and went, "Oh yeah." <laughs> oh, I've been spraying. Sorry about that. So that's that one. As I say, it's not a lot to look at. So this one, you got the lower wings. You got the horizontal stabilizer that goes between the booms, wheels. There's the spinners. So if you did want to do a new one, looks like sand exhaust pipe. Rudder pedals, got a slight sink in those, but they're going to be deep inside the two propellers. Various little pitot tubes, things like that. Wing tips, by the looks of things. Front cowling. I think that's the rear cowling. There's that uh, representation of a Lycoming, is it? I don't know. An engine, anyway, just some. Cylinder heads moulded in. Very nice detail. Really nicely. Well done, ICM. Good kit here. That's the main undercarriage. Quite a few attachment points there. Six of them. But yeah, not a lot to show. I might as well get the glass parts out. Stretch the video out a little bit. Can we? we can have a look to see how. The reason I don't like getting them out is always difficult to get back in these sticky bags. But uh, they are crystal clear, the side panels. A little bit of distortion on the curved ones, but, but the side panels are crystal clear. I kind of, looking through, through, it looks like I'm looking through a frame. They are really nicely moulded. I don't know if that works for you guys. It is very clear, very, very clear. Yeah, funny enough, when you hold it up to the light, you can actually see a ripple in it, but you can't see it doing that. Very nice. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the reviews of the two kits that I've recently bought. I really ought to put an embargo on buying any anymore because I certainly now have more kits than I'm probably ever going to be able to complete in my lifetime. And I've got kits I haven't even reviewed on here. Um, I went nuts on buying Wing Nut Wings kit when they. When they were, I heard they were closing, I got a couple of the big ones, a lot of people don't seem to like the big kits of theirs, but I've got one, I've got a Felix Stowe, I've got a Gotha G4, I've got another German bomber, I've recently got a sock with Camel, I've had an Albatross, Rick, Rick Toffin's Albatross for a long time, I've been working on Maximum and Zyndecker, but that's stalled, typical me, um, I've got a Hanover, uh, I've got a Fokker D7 Herman Gorings and I thought I had another one. Oh, I've got a DH9A as well, and I think that's it. And um, they were doing uh, Wing Nut Wings were doing the Fokker DR1, the triplane, but that got dropped. As I'm sure if you're in the modeling hobby world, you know that Ming have released it. And I've got that on back order with Hannah, so I'm just waiting for that to turn up. So, and then uh, it really will be an embargo unless something really special comes along. Problem is, you, you see these limited editions like the Spitfire, and you think, yeah, I'd like one of those. I better get it while it's available. So, uh, there you are, all looking at my hands and a bit of plastic and my cutting mat. Anyway, guys, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks very much for watching these two videos, and I'll just another thanks for Black Knight Models. Um, look him up, reasonable prices, fast shipping. Take care, bye.